In this video, we'll talk about what is eczema. Eczema is difficult to diagnose. Any dermatologist will look for a combination of symptoms. Eczema always involves a rash, which can appear on any part of the body. The rash is red in color and is usually covered with white, scaly skin. The scales are due to inflammation caused by constant scratching. It's the constant scratching that causes the skin to shed skin cells, which results in the white scales that cover the red rash. Ultimately, scratching can change the actual color of your skin. A rash is just the first clue for a dermatologist. There are, after all, many types of rashes. With eczema, there are other specific symptoms for which to watch. Lack of moisture can actually cause the skin to crack. These cracks just make the itch worse, which causes you to scratch more. Eczema can be a vicious cycle. Most of the time, eczema rashes also have blisters. If these blisters grow large enough, they can become infectious. Another sign of eczema are dry, brittle nails or nails with fungus. The redness that shows up on the skin can also frequently be seen when the eyes are reddish and when the tongue has red patches. An eczema flare-up can make the eyes look swollen. Some of this is caused by rubbing the itchy, infected eyes. A good dermatologist will look beyond the red, scaly skin. When eczema becomes chronic, the resulting symptoms can be quite serious. Lymph nodes filter the body against foreign invaders, such as germs. Swollen lymph nodes can mean they are busy fighting eczema flare-ups. This is something your dermatologist will check. When the body is fighting the symptoms of eczema, it is using precious nutritional resources. That means that adults with eczema are frequently malnourished, and children with eczema are often small for their age. When treated, the body immediately begins to process nutrition more efficiently. The effect on children, who almost immediately show signs of growth, is remarkable. Adults and children with eczema frequently develop asthma and hay fever as well. As a matter of fact, eczema is often associated with allergies, so maintaining an allergy-free environment becomes a critical tool in fighting eczema the natural way. In addition to chronic eczema, there are different types of eczema. When properly diagnosed, most of these are actually treatable. Dermatitis eczema is caused by soaps and other cleaning products. These can leave the skin dry and deprived of necessary oils, resulting in red, itchy skin. Since this most frequently affects the hands, it can cause a lot of embarrassment. Fortunately, once the culprits have been identified and eliminated, the rash will abate and the skin will return back to normal. Some people develop rashes due to allergies to substances like nickel and jewelry. A dermatologist can do patch tests to determine the allergy. Once the substance in question is removed, the rash should disappear. This type of eczema usually develops in young people and is the result of developing hormones causing flaky dandruff to appear on the scalp and surrounding areas. An anti-tar shampoo can be very beneficial in helping with this type of eczema. Healing your eczema symptoms requires proper diagnosis. You need to see a dermatologist, but not all dermatologists specialize in eczema. It's important that you consult with a specialist who is knowledgeable about eczema, its signs, and what can be done to alleviate the uncomfortable itch that is always a part of any eczema. This type of eczema is common in children. If at least one parent suffers from eczema, the child might get it as well. Atopic eczema can be anywhere from mild to severe. Children with atopic eczema are at a greater risk for asthma and food allergies, so testing should be done for those symptoms as well. Many children do outgrow this type of eczema, but not all. Signs of atopic dermatitis in children are the usual patches of dry skin that turn red and inflamed. The most likely places for these patches to appear is on the face and neck, as well as the elbows and knees. Scratching always makes eczema worse. Since children aren't able to understand the need not to scratch, it is important to seek treatment as soon as possible. People with atopic dermatitis usually experience flare-ups, a period when the eczema gets worse for a time. Flare-ups can occur due to irritants such as soaps, dust mites, dog and cat fur, and surgeon fabrics. Stress and other emotions can also trigger eczema flare-ups. Varicose eczema occurs in older adults who have varicose veins. Standing can become more difficult as people age, which can bring on both varicose veins and varicose eczema, which can result in dry, itchy patches around the ankle area. Skin in general becomes less moist and drier as people age. As with any other form of eczema, it's important not to acerbate the problem by scratching. This type of eczema can worsen in cold weather, so keeping your skin moist during the winter is an important part of reducing the constant itching. 
your treatment should include lifestyle changes, elimination of stress, and a diet that removes potential allergens from your diet. All of these treatments will be discussed in this video. Ask your doctor how these treatments can best be applied to your eczema, then follow his advice. With proper diagnosis and treatment, you will be itch-free and living the life you are now only dreaming about. There is no reason for you to suffer from eczema. The sooner you act, the sooner your skin will be back to normal. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.